Hello everyone and welcome to this Selenium with Python tutorial. In this tutorial, we will learn to find the broken images on the page. So let's begin. For this tutorial, I will be using the Internet Heroku app. So let's go to the browser here and to this right and here you will find this broken images. Just click on this one. And here you see these images are broken. So right click on this one here and click on inspect here. Go to the network and select fetch slash xjr and reload this page and let's go back to the all actually and now here you see that these are the images okay and we are getting 404 not found okay for both of the images so in order to find these broken images on the page what i need to do is that either i can you know get all the images with which are returning the 404 status code or simply i will say that if the status code is not 200 then assume that these are the broken images so logic can be any depending on how the website is implemented okay now let's go to the pycharm here and let me create one new file here i will name it as broken underscore images okay so the first thing is that uh, we need a browser. So I say browser is equals web driver dot Firefox. So basically we are getting a driver here. And import this one and let's import the web driver. Okay. And now using this one, so browser dot get so we will be opening this particular page here using this one back here let me copy the url from here and let me go back here and provide the url now let's maximize the browser so browser dot maximize so don't get confused uh, with this browser word because in our previous tutorial we will naming it as a driver and here now we are naming it as a browser so you, you can name it anything okay so now there can be more than one broken images on the page okay so let's find those images images equals to browser dot find elements because there will be more than one element right so here again uh, i will be using the approach by dot tag name okay and let me import the by here remove this again by tag name and we need to provide the name of tag so when we're talking about the images if i go back here and let me inspect this image here so you see that the, the tag here is image as we need to find the images so i will all i will find all those elements which contains the image tag that's why i actually filtering my search here okay now let me go back here so tag would be image now there can be more than one broken images so what i'll do is that i'll create a variable broken images here is equals to this so it can be blank array now this images contains all the images because we are using find elements so what i need to do is that i need to loop through this one image in images okay and i'm creating a one variable known as source is equals to image dot get attribute and the attribute i want is basically a source src so if i go back here so i need this src so this is a source basically this attribute i need okay uh, let me go back here and i'll say i need this source here okay this is the attribute which i need and why i need this one i will explain you later on so once i have this one 
so I will put a condition if src okay then red is equals to I will be using the requests requests dot get and I will be getting this source here so basically is src so in our previous example in our broken links we were getting the links here and we were using the header so approach is pretty much similar here okay and here if I go back here and let me show you so it's basically source okay that's why I'm using this source here now once response equals to request dot get source and we need to import the request here and now if response dot status code I will say so logic can be any so I, I'm going with the logic here like for example it should not be 200 okay if response dot status underscore code is not equal to 200 then broken underscore images dot now what I'll do is that I will append in this particular array which is a blank initially okay what I will append here append the source okay and once I append this one I will print what I will print here I will say basically broken image um, okay so basically um, what I'm doing is that I have found all the images using this uh, fine elements and the tag is image then I created an empty array and I am looping in this particular images and from this I get a source using this get attribute and then I have putting a condition if source response dot equals request dot and if response dot status code is not equals to 200 then broker images dot append append the source of this array and print this value as well now what I will do is that one more condition if broken images then also what I like to do is that I will print the list here as well so list of broken images and again there would be more than one so I will be looping here again so for underscore images and so instead of images this is the variable so i am change the name so here broken images then print else if it doesn't find any so else print no broken images So uh, now uh, we are good to go to execute the, with our code. So let's run this one and see what happens here. And it should open the Firefox browser, maximize this one, go to this particular page and execute our code. Let me go here and see. So I'm getting some error here. So let me see what is the issue. So this will be source is not defined okay src is not defined in the get attribute okay so basically here the attribute needs to be in double quotes that was the issue and now let's run this again see what happens this time it should work now you should open the browser maximize the browser go to this particular website and count all the broken images and here is the list of the broken images so if I go back let me confirm this one let me go here 
and if I go to this network here, if I see, so you see that uh, the name of this broken image file is asdf.jpg. asdf.jpg. This is one, and the second one is hjkl.jpg. hkl.jpg. So that's how uh, you can find the broken images. And again, logic can be any depending on how the things are implemented on your web page. But once the approach is that find all the images, look through the images based on the attribute, put a condition against the status code, print those ones, assert those images, and that's how you're done with your test case. Thank you so much for watching this tutorial. If you like our content, then do like, comment, share, and subscribe our channel. Once again, thank you so much and see you in the next tutorial.